Yay! You did it! You made it through the academy! Congratulations! You have your badge and your boots and your belt and everything is shiny and fits exactly the way that it should. You are now officially a correctional officer. But hey, before you go inside, before you penetrate those gates, before you venture out into the unknown alone, let me bend your ear for a minute. See, in this environment, in this profession, anything can happen. And it's hard to prepare for every potential probability. I'm William Young, correctional officer and author of When Home Becomes a Housing Unit. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you should expect on your first day as a correctional officer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. You passed all the tests. You've finally graduated from the academy. You've subscribed to this YouTube channel. And now you're ready to rule the roost. I remember my first day, I felt like I was gonna be sick. I was driving myself crazy wondering what I was walking into. See, I didn't really know what to expect, so I wanna share a few things. Things that I encountered, things that I continue to see. And if you're a veteran correctional officer, please feel free to add to this list. Leave your feedback down below in the comments. What do you think that they should expect on their first day? Number one, expect to get challenged. Everybody knows you're new, the officers, the inmates. We can see it. <laughs> we can smell it. Look, learning a new job can be difficult, but this here, this is some next level shit. On your first day, you can expect to get challenged on your knowledge of the rules and regulations and your willingness to enforce them. The inmates will want to see what they can get away with. They will start sizing you up. They will try breaking you down. You will be under a microscope. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, they'll be watching you every single day every word you say and every game you play they'll be watching you <laughs> so be confident know yourself know your strengths and your weaknesses stand your ground inmates are looking for an easy target a duck don't be that duck <laughs> number two Expect to feel overwhelmed. There are so many policies and post orders and personalities and potential problems that it can get extremely overwhelming for a brand new officer working alone. The sights and the sounds and the everything happening all at once can get frustrating. Med pass, mental health, records, re-entry, case management, programs, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, look. Just take a deep breath, relax, prioritize. And unless whatever happening is a immediate life or death situation, it can probably wait. Remember the population operates on our schedule, not the other way around. Number three, expect to get asked stupid questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. On your first day, the inmates are going to ask you questions that they already know the answers to. What's their bond? What's their outdate? When is commissary coming? Can I change cells? Can I get a different roommate? Can you look something up on the computer for me? Will you bring me in some black tar heroin? Can I borrow your cell phone? What time is lockdown? What do you mean I can't hoard my medication, crush it up, and snort it with my cellmate? You're the only officer that has a problem with that. Who's the lieutenant? When can my girlfriend come and visit? Be prepared to be bombarded. Know the basics. And if you don't know the answer to the question, make a phone call. Ask somebody. Just don't make shit up. Chances are the inmates asking the question already know the answer. And they're testing you. They're seeing what you know. They're seeing if you'll lie. They're seeing how easy it would be for them to manipulate you and get you to do something that you're not supposed to do. Number four, expect to get mandatory. The majority of correctional facilities are severely understaffed. And in most facilities, the minute you're on your own, you're eligible to be held over, to be mandated, to be ordered to work a double shift. This sucks, but it is a reality that you need to be ready for. You're going to have to work overtime. Are you crying? No. So learn to manage your time. 
have a plan. Try to get plenty of sleep when you can and bring extra food. Always bring extra food. Number five, expect to get attitude from both the inmates and staff. The inmates don't know you. The officers don't know you. Nobody knows you. It takes time to develop a rapport, to build trust. It takes time for everyone to get to know what kind of officer you're actually going to be. Remember, the correctional environment is inherently negative. It has this sneaky way of influencing the attitudes of those who live and work inside the walls. So don't take it personal. It's not you. Well, it's maybe a little you, but mostly it's not you. What you're witnessing are decades of wear and tear on an officer's mental and physical health. Learn to navigate those negative attitudes. Redirect that energy and stay positive. All right, guys, if you like this video, if you found value in this video, go ahead and drop kick that little like icon right there. That, 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 that thumbs up that's right down there below. Share and subscribe and tell all of your friends and family about the content that we're creating here. If you have a comment or a tip or a favorite homemade pizza recipe, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description below so you know where to go. And don't forget to tune into the Saturday Night Synopsis, my podcast that I live stream on Facebook every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Each week I host a guest and we gab about all things corrections with a focus on fighting and highlighting the emotional damage and psychological dangers that officers encounter while working inside the walls. All right, guys, until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon. I had to make a, I had to make a sign uh, because I always forget to <laughs> unmute my mic. Hey, 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 yo, hey, hey, yo, yo, hey, 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 uh, yo, 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 let's go. I feel like it.